Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today we sit in our Spud Throne, our very hard-earned Spud Throne that is at the almost top of our really quite epically coming along castle. Um, and I can't believe, like, just think about when we were first at the mechanic station with our little square farm and look at where we've come. We we have like a legitimate castle here. This looks amazing from this point of view. But uh, one of the things that we're gonna be doing in this episode is we're going to be finally settling the issue of getting up to the very, very top of this castle from down here. And overwhelmingly, the response to how we should do this wasn't to build a staircase in any fancy way, but you all think that the throne itself should extend up to the top, and that should be our way of getting up here. Um, so we're gonna have to modify uh, a lot about this. We're gonna have to make a way for this to match. That hole is obviously not gonna be the spot that we go up because the throne is at the back of this. We're gonna have to detach the throne here, put a piston underneath. How many blocks up? This is a lot of blocks up. I think I need some more component kits. I have a single uh, level five piston which will go up to 15. Um, I have a bunch of this blo these blocks on me. This is all of the brick I have left. And I also want to start, um, I have a new idea on how to make the top of this look not so dinky. Because from a distance, here, let's go down since so we got to go down here anyway. But from a distance, um, the tower doesn't look the way I had envisioned in my head. You can see that it, everything looks pretty big and epic. And then that top section is just a little skinny tower up there. And I think it looks a little bit awkward. So my idea, if I don't think I'm going to have enough to complete the idea, but we can start it in this episode after we deal with the throne. But I want to take the brick that I have, and I want to make two s slightly smaller towers on the side, um, on either side of the center tower. So it's just going to be like leveled up like a bit of a triangle. And hopefully that'll work out okay, visually. Uh, so the other now the issue that we have is if we want to Raise this throne up. Uh, let's actually figure out how many blocks first we need to go up um, I also need to create a staircase going up to this floor. I don't have a staircase coming up to this floor yet There's still, there's still a lot of kinks to work out when it comes to this uh, This base, but we're doing pretty well so far Okay, so if we want the bottom of this to get up to the bottom of that that is gonna be one length of 16 one, two, plus 14. So 16 plus 14 is 30 blocks. So that's exactly two pistons. Two level five pistons. That's not bad. I hope my math is correct there. If we have two level five pistons directly underneath this, we should get exactly to the top of that, uh, that tower. So now I have one level five piston. How many, uh, how many component kits are we going to need? to get ourselves up to another one. Okay, so this is a level two. Fantastic. How many component kits? Two to upgrade at once. Um, so we're gonna need a couple of component kits. Is Hank still over here, by the way? <gasps> Look at that. Good news, everyone. Hank is still with us, enjoying his time in the pool. Hope he's got some sunscreen, otherwise he might get burned. <gasps> they destroyed one of the lights in here. I used to have another light over here. Really, guys? Man, these bots, they just, they, they are party animals. They're just wrecking the place sometimes. All right, so let's head out. We're going to do a loot run. Try to get ourselves some component kits for pistons. Do I have food and drink? I do have food and drink. We're okay. So we need two, four, th I don't know. Is it two? Actually, I can upgrade it as I go. I should have brought one of those uh, component kits with me that I had. Well, there's one component kit. Now I need one more and we can upgrade the piston. I'm glad I brought the piston with me. All right, good old toilet trick to get up to the top here because there is a chest up here. There we go. Come on, one more component kit. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I don't think there's any chests in that building, so I'm just going to go on to the next one. All right, come on, component kit. There we go. So now we can go ahead and uh, put this. Can I not put this down? I'll put it down right. Oh, I can't put this down on anything. I can probably put it. There we go. Now I can put it down. All right, two out of two. I think it just stays two, right? So that means I need two, I need four more component kits and I should have it at max. So this should be quick. This should be quick, easy going. Especially if these guys give me one. There we go. There's one more. Come on. There's two. 
Come on, one more. One more. There's three. All right. One more, and that's it. One more, and we're done. We're definitely going to get one from the... Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we put that down like an upgrade. Once more, twice more. There we go. Max level five piston. That took no time at all. All right, let's head up and see if we can do what we plan on doing. So... Okay, in order to get this out of here, we're going to need to delete from here. Uh, actually, I guess we can do it from here over to here. Is this still being held up? Oh, but is it being held up by that? There we go. All right, so now this is out of here. So let's see. What are we looking at underneath? All right. Uh, ooh, this is awkward. If I wanted to have it centered, I can't do that. If I wanted to have the piston centered, because I don't want to have multiple stacks of pistons, because that's a huge waste of component kits. I just want to have a single stack, and it might be a little bit wobbly, but I'm planning on having guide rails to counteract that problem. But the issue is the archway goes all the way up here. So if I want to double stack pistons, I can't without protruding down below this archway, which really needs some lights here. Oh, 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 I got it. Okay, so what we're going to do is roughly in the center. There isn't an actual center point because of the even uh, nature of this whole area. But if we just do this, um, we can actually, I think we can have this go up into the throne. So here, let's set this to 15. Actually, I don't know what speed we're going to want on that yet. We'll set this to 15. Here, let's do a test real quick. Oh, I need a button. All right. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're going to put the button right there. But hold on. I have a, uh, an extra button here because I want to test these out real quick. So if these go up by 15, what speed? I feel like a slow speed, relatively slow speed. Is that? Oh, that's hitting. Hold on. There we go. We just do that. Yeah, this is going to be enough, I think. Okay, so now um, we're going to get our carpet back. We're going to fill in this with the carpet. Just like that. And now we need to put this into our seat. So this is, we need to find the exact spot. So let's go ahead and move this over. There we go. It's four in from here. One, two, three, four. So right there. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that should be where it is. So how many blocks deep does it go? One, two, three. All right, one, please let me dig in this deep. Two, whoops, that was not supposed to go there. Three. And then literally there's the seat. That's the exact, that's the exact amount of uh, depth that we needed. So I hope, I really hope this is going to work. Uh, weld tool. Now we're going to weld here. To right there. Okay. And then we remove that button and we put this button. Just like that. And we can also hook this button up to there. So now, this should raise up perfectly. Oh, I gotta make room. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot if we actually need room for this. We're gonna have to get rid of these lights. That was really weird. I got knocked to the side and it felt like I was getting hit by something. I was like, there's no way there's a hay bot up here. All right. We'll go ahead and make room like that. Is that enough on the sides? I don't know if that's enough on the sides. Let's find out. Um, nope. And that's just because of the spud guns. Okay, we're almost there. We are almost there. Oh, it's perfect. It's actually perfect. Okay. But we do have the issue of... This has to fit up here, though. I got it. This is actually going to be kind of cool. This is a relatively high level controller. Okay. Okay, so this is actually going to be kind of cool. We're going to set this controller to max or whatever max speed it can be. And then when we press the button, it is going to negate all of the angles that we've done here. And I don't know how long we actually need it to wait. But here, let's just see if that works for now. They all go in. That's going to go perfectly timed, actually. All right, so now we should be up. That means we should be able to make this flush like this. There we go. 
All right, so I think that's kind of perfect. So now we go back down, and that's fine on the way down, but let me see if going back up works now. Yes, and then I'm gonna have them come back out once they get to the top, but we need to figure out what that, um, what that gap might be. We may not, we may not need to have a gap here, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I just solved the issue that we had with the hole because the spud guns are sticking out from the chair, so I couldn't make the chair flush with the hole, but now, when we press the button, this is what happens. Spud guns come in. It goes, oh no, okay, I need to slow it down just a little bit, hold on. Let's just try one notch slower, and I hope this is perfectly timed now. Alright, spud guns come in. And then they come out just like that, and that actually looks kind of epic. And we're sitting perfectly here. I don't- I didn't even need guide rails. So now, I think I need more carpet up here. Oh, I need a logic gate, because I just realized if I accidentally jump down while that's up there, I cannot get into the seat. Oh no, why did I just do it though? <laughs> okay, I can- I can still fix this. Let's get back down. Man, look at how high up we are now. Look at this. That is ridiculous how high we are from down at the bottom level now. All right, so I think I have logic gates, logic gates somewhere. Yes, logic gates. And I also think I have carpet, carpet. Ooh, only 85 extra carpet, really? All right, so let's repaint this carpet. There we go. I'm just gonna stick the logic gate right in the ground right here. And then the switch to call it in, I think I'm just gonna put on the wall right here. So this goes into the or gate and this needs to disconnect from that switch. This needs to disconnect from that switch. The or gate needs to go into both of these. So now it's extended and... Why is it not contracting? Oh, because this also needs to go with the or gate. There we go. All right, and then that also goes into the or gate. Whoops. <laughs> So now if it's up, I can call it back down. No, it's an XOR gate, my bad, XOR gate. So now, if it is up, all right, that looks sketchy sometimes. I can call it back down with this. And if it's down, I can put it back up with this. Oh, that's not working, I did that too fast. I gotta wait for the controller to complete its cycle. Open and close. Or rather, close and open. Close. And open. Alright, I think that's good. So now, let's deal with what we're dealing with up here. Let's see how much carpet, 85 carpet, is going to be. I at least want, like, this to be the carpet. Oh! Forgot about the lights. We'll deal with the lights in a bit. Alright, I just want that. <laughs> and I have five carpet left. That's pretty much the extent of my carpet right there. All right, well, let's paint this red as well. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now let's uh, put the lights back on. We got this light and this light. Okay, and I think for the sake of making the top of this look less awkward from the bottom, um, I'm just going to add a whole layer of brick here so it looks like we're enclosed in brick. And this will also uh, allow the lights to be more flush with this top layer as well. So I think it's a win-win. All right, there we go. I think that's looking okay. I just gotta paint the lights once I get more paint. And let's just do a double check, make sure that this is all the right timing still. All right, there we go. And now we can stand atop our tower from the tippy top without too much of an issue. Doesn't look that great from underneath, to be honest. <laughs> with the way this piston thing is set up, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers right now. Okay, so now that we've gotten the throne idea settled, now I wanna focus on the idea of this platform down here. So how big, here, let's actually go back up to the top. And I actually wanna send this back down so I have this whole platform to myself. So I think the whole tower is, yeah, the whole tower is 22 blocks uh, by 22 blocks, I'm pretty sure. All right, so 22 by 22. So now if I add another 22 by 22, but slightly down from this one, I think this will look kind of cool. But the issue with that is if this comes straight down here, we have no room around this staircase to walk. So that's, an, and that's gonna be the same issue on the other side. I don't know how I feel about that. 
I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna roll with this so I just need to make sure that the next tower is aligned with that one so we stay right here and we go out by 22 so there's 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 I don't know if we're gonna we're not gonna have enough we're not gonna have enough to finish these towers I'm gonna do my best though I'm gonna focus on uh, prioritizing the front of the towers first that way if we don't have enough to finish the entirety of the towers, yeah, you see, I'm just I'm just tearing down stack by stack really, really quickly. I got I got like I got five stacks left, five and a little bit left, and each one of these has like three more walls left that are more than a stack each. So yeah, this is not gonna work um, completely with what we have. We're gonna do a little bit more mining, but if I can finish the front then at least it'll look the way it's intended to look from the front. So there's that. All right, so I did manage to get a decent amount back um, from making the doorways. I've only made a the front and the side so far. I'm really not focusing on the back right now just because that's not going to be visible. And as you can see by my inventory down below here, we are very quickly... Oh, I didn't even mean to do that, actually. We are very quickly running out of uh, materials. So I'm gonna stop there and we are going to make this wall. What is it, four high, I think? Yeah, one, two, three, four. All right, yeah, four high. I really hope that this ends up working out. All right, perfect. I have 44 blocks left. And uh, let me show you what I did so far. So underneath, you can see, we got the side and we got the front. So if I come up out of the stairs, if I go out this way, I can go in through here, or I can go around out there, or I can come up, go around this way, and come out. There's going to be a wall right here, but I can come out and then walk along the back. I may have a back entrance as well, or I might keep the back completely flat. I don't know. I'm not going to have this open up to the throne room. The throne room, I think, is going to be its own separate um, isolated entity. So from the front, uh, it's looking... Like, hold on. Let's actually get up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on. There we go. I think that's looking better. And what we could potentially have is from the tops of these, we could actually have stairways going up from inside these uh, towers. And then we could have another stairway going directly up to here. Like maybe in the back or right up to there. I don't know. That could be an alternative path to walk up rather than having to use the throne. So now let's see what this looks like from the front. Because from the front, it should look like it's finished, even though we have those holes in the back. Oh, this immediately looks so much better. Oh, good decision. This, I'm so glad that that looks as good as I, it did in my head, because the first idea did not look as good as it did in my head. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, I do need to fill in the back, though, because... You can see straight through those doorways in the front, unfortunately. All right, there's actually another... Ooh. I just thought of something that's going to be difficult. I remember make, uh, mentioning that this looked a little bit weird not having supports. But I think, what if I do have supports? I saw this suggestion. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the comment. It's really hard to keep track of names just off the top of my head. But someone mentioned making a gear-shaped support that goes... I don't know if this is actually what they meant, but I just saw the gear-shaped support was the gist of the comments. And my interpretation of that is having somewhat of a hollow, uh, but gear-shaped thing going down from there to, like, here or something. I don't know. I'd have to see. I'd have to measure it out. Here, let's get some metal. I'm gonna make it out of metal. Yeah, so then all I need to do is figure out how to make a nice curve going down from there to here and then add some type of spokes onto it, which are teeth, not spokes, but teeth. But it's going to be really, really difficult going across the curve of this. Let me go ahead and I'm just going to look up a circle generator so I can just have a more perfectly defined circle for these uh, blocks. All right, so I have a circle generator over on my other monitor, so let's uh, go ahead and build this out. All right, so that is what the support looks like so far on this side. Now, the tough part of having to put the teeth onto it. We go like that, and then like that. See, that looks good on the bottom there. So now I need to do the same thing up here. The tough part is going to be the 45 degree, which I think comes to, like, right here. And see, it's just hard to make it look like an actual like gear tooth 
on the 45 degree angle because of how blocky it is, especially at this smaller scale compared to that top one. I did also kind of envision having like a middle uh, arch going here too. Yeah, like that. I think that actually looks pretty cool. There we go. So now I just build this down and I'm just gonna make sure that everything I build is off of that. All right, I think I'm just about finishing up and as long as I had all of my attachment points correct, if I delete this block, the entire thing should fall down as one piece and let's not lose it. There we go. And then all I gotta do is fill in this block right here and weld it at exactly the same spot on the other side. All right, so this welds one, two, three, fourth block in. Just like that. Look at that. I think those look decent. They don't look exactly like they did in my head, but I think they look decent. Let's get, uh, well, I guess I should probably wait for the sun to come up too, but let's get a nighttime view to see what it looks like from over here. Ooh, this is looking good. I, I am I am actually getting proud of this. I think lighting is the big thing that's missing right now. I really wish we had more lighting options, especially considering these ones aren't craftable, so they're going to go really, really quick. But yeah, that looks much more realistic, much more natural. I'm very proud of that. All right, now the main thing that has been left to do is to paint these lights whiter because this room looks really dim with the yellow light. Yeah, that's looking good. And then we can rise on up and be back in the dark at the top. I feel like here, you know what would be really good? Those um, those angled light blocks that we have in creative mode that uh, we don't have access to, I don't think, in this mode. But those, having some some of those down right in front of here pointed at the chair, that was look, those would look epic. All right, this is looking awesome. Now, I thought of one final idea. I don't know if this is going to make it look better or worse. But since this is kind of like the top level, one of the upper levels that gets a little bit more uh, regal, I guess, because we have the metal outlining on this area, this platform here, the speech platform. I want to also do a metal lining on this top um, archway as opposed to the bottom archway. Ooh, that did not, I did not want to delete that right there. But yeah, I want to do a metal lining on this top arch archway to separate it from the bottom archway. So it looks a little bit different might stand out a bit more and look cooler from a distance. All right, I think that actually looks really cool from this side. Let's do the same thing on the back side since we also have a metal uh, rail out here as well. Man, I really wish I could like change the sun position because it's really unfortunate that the sun is illuminating the back side of my castle, which is not really, <laughs> it's not designed to be looked at from the back at all. But look how much better it looks with the sun on it, you know? Okay, there we go. Look at this. This, this. this looks awesome. All right, let's look at it from the front now, too. All right, and there it is. Scrap Manor. And I actually do like the metal on the top archway. That does make it look better. All right, here, let me get on this. Get on this lift here. Scrap Manor has come such a long way. All right, I think we made some awesome base building progress today. If you have any more suggestions for stuff you'd like to see in survival, that maybe stuff that isn't base building, we could take a little bit of a break from base building going forward. Maybe if you want to see some like bot experiments or like warehouse stuff or whatever, let me know down in the comments below. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff you guys might be uh, hoping to see in the future of the series. And hopefully we'll have some updates soon so we can actually have some new type of uh, stuff in the world to explore and experience. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the series so far, make sure you go ahead and check out some more videos on the end screen. And uh, check out the merch link down in the description if you want to support the channel and get yourself some Scrapman merch. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!